So um, what about things parents can do to just make that connection with kids that probably have never really known what real love is to start teaching them that concept of this is what it means to be loved. This is how love is expressed in, in a good environment and through a relationship that's healthy. Yeah. So feeling loved is sort of one of those ones. If you have to, you have to really dig into and try to understand where that individual child is because each mm -hmm. kid is going to be very different. Um, you have, and they're different for very different reasons. So you have the hugger who just day one, they just want to give you a big hug and mm. you think, oh, that's great. But then you dig into it and they don't understand what that means. And then you have the one that doesn't, don't touch me at all. Um, and so learning with each one, what that is. So one of the sort of the key first steps is developing that healthy eye contact. Um, uh -huh. We read a lot of Karen Purvis's books, The Connected Child, and eye contact is one of those things. So mm. dropping to their level um, and starting with not just staring into their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> that can freak you out. <laughs> a quick glance of, oh, let me see your eyes. Oh, you have such great eyes and just, and then move on. So mm -hmm. just little quick connections. Mm. When you look someone in the eye, you have that connection and think about right. like someone yeah. that you really love, the person you love the most, you can stare into their eyes the longest. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. But you have to start with those little eye to eye connections and it can just yeah. be a glance um, or just a little, oh, you're such a good boy for no reason. Like mm -hmm. um, so the mm -hmm. little no reason things. And then yeah. I would call it yeah. the appropriate touch of find out where your child is with touch um, this mm. touch is one of those ways, but they have, may have a very traumatic experience with touch or they may love touch. So right. I would sort yep. of say, take it one step above what they naturally do. Don't mm. go from, I want to shake your hand to let's give you a bear hug. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> take your hand and then put your other hand on top of it and you know, hold it mm. for another few mm -hmm. seconds. So it's a lot of mirroring. Um, yeah. So you're mirroring those things. And then also the same thing you're using to do to connect with your kids to show them that you love them is what you do to your spouse. Um, uh, yes. So if you mm -hmm. say to your kids, oh, you're doing great. Oh, you're such a good boy. Um, mm -hmm. You look really happy right now. So use the same language to your spouse. Um, mm -hmm. If you're wanting to give them a hug, if you're, give your wife or your husband a random hug in front of them. So modeling, here's what natural, good human love looks like right. um, between yeah. two healthy people uh, is a great way. And then, so all of those things are just taking, take the smallest connection that's there and try to do one step more. Yeah. You don't have to go yeah. all the way to like, a, you know, deep love. You just have to go to one level of connection more and then, Re it's that slow repetition in the consistency every single day. Yeah, I think oftentimes we go into these relationships thinking that these kids just need lots of love. And the more we can pour on them, then, you know, we'll just make them feel better. But that actually creates bigger walls um, just for the reasons that you were talking about. It's, it's not a comfortable place for them. And yeah. to take those baby steps to to get that, and and sometimes they will want to be hugged, but it's they don't understand it, like you said, and um, and just getting them to the point of understanding their appropriateness of touch mm -hmm. as well. Um, I like to think of it as because we have a garden, and I, I like to grow things. When you have a when you transplant like a seedling out into your garden you don't just dump water on it. Right. <laughs> fertilizer. Don't pile it up with fertilizer and say, all right, you have all the good stuff now, thrive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you have to start with what's the right amount for that plant right now. Mm -hmm. And eventually it gets to where it can grow and then you can put as much water and fertilizer on it. Um, well, not as much fertilizer, but enough water to where it can grow. I think it's bigger it can take more. <laughs> right. Um, so that's yeah. sort of how I see it is they come sort of as a shriveled plant that needs water, but you can't give them too much or it'll, mm -hmm. it'll drown them. Right. 